sneaky. Exactly. Maybe that's why we've never actually seen them feed. I saw it kill a guppy. <laughs> Diane used to feed them guppies, but she doesn't do that anymore, and I don't know why. Guppies are getting harder and harder to get a hold of these days. Well, for us, because we catch ours out by the Kalia Pond area and the storm drain system. Oh, yeah. He also sits right there in the canal, um, the entrance to Kihei. Ooh. I've seen him sitting right in that ditch. Yeah, covered with mosquitoes and whatnot. <laughs> uh, so what we're looking at here is a sore tail being uh, fed to a... <laughs> poor little sore tail there. <laughs> getting fed to a cone snail. So hopefully we'll get to actually see this happen. <laughs> Do you want to sit low, Mike? Yeah, yeah here. Sit grab one bucket. Okay. We're also trying to get a good position to watch this, so... So there's our cone snail. This one is, uh, Striatus, did they say? Yes. Striatus. It's one of Diane's favorites. And, uh, that's also the one that ate our textile cones, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> oh, there goes the, uh, sore tail on the floor. <laughs> Obviously, really he knows that, what's... Yeah, we'll edit that out. <laughs> Now, it's kind of interesting that uh, you breed so sore tails to feed them when other people are breeding them for actual pet shop mm -hmm. feeds. Oh, yeah. So this involves actually taking some of the scales off, apparently, for a better grip. Yeah, exactly, because the scales all kind of face backwards. Mm -hmm. So... Kind of Let's see if we can so get our cone snail open. why is the fish just released into the tank and let the animal hunt like they would normally? Well, I think you'll see in a minute. If we let it hunt, we wouldn't be able to get the venom from it. Oh, okay. So... Is this the milking procedure? Yes. Do you have to put your in it? Yeah. I came in to talk about a test. I'd way rather do this. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to talk about the test at all. Yeah, you told me you guys are on what, your, your third finals coming up? Plus the, or the third... I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Yeah. Finals? That's so far away. Oh, oh. The third exam coming up. Yeah. Third exam yeah, coming up. How long does this procedure usually take to pretty... It's pretty quick, um, depending on how cooperative the fish is. Oh, the fish and the snail. Is the snail cooperative or the fish? Uh, uh, the fish. fish is being less than cooperative. Yeah, the fish <laughs> just keeps <laughs> doing what a fish does, yeah. Yeah. yeah he knows what's coming, so... <laughs> yeah, why that is, we don't know. No idea. Let's see how the snail reacts. So they react by oh look at that. Yeah, he's That's hungry. The movement. Yeah. Yep. The movement and then also a little bit of smell. So the scales in the water are helping with the chemical sensory. And then the uh, the movement of the fish is helping with the just sending waves in there. That's what you think. Yeah. That's that's what we tell each other to make each other feel better about this. Yeah. No, yeah, he's, he's hungry. So, so here comes what looks like the proboscis coming out of the snail. Oh, cool. There we go, there's the radula. And you can see it's heading into the... to the tube. Oh, nope, look, we are attracted. I think... So he's when they fire? He's, he's been hit, the fish has been hit. He just, uh... I think... Do they fire out of the piece on the top, or is it the radula? It's the radula. Okay. Oh, they have five. Five little hookworms. Looks like the fish is, uh... Oh, we're definitely slowing down. ...succumbing. Oh no, maybe not. <laughs> we we maybe ain't giving up without a fight. We might be succumbing to the, uh, yeah, salt water more than anything. Yeah, I see that... Because he's already fired, he thinks he's got the fish in the snare, which he doesn't but he's trying to reach out with his uh, mouth just to try and get a handle on it. If he knows it's still there, I don't think he's going to fire out another one. He usually won't. Oh, it looks like there's something coming out there. So you'll see. That fish is awfully there calm. Are you sure it wasn't hit? Oh, he might have been hit. Go. He's getting yeah. enveloped. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And down the hatch he goes. That was a pretty good-sized fish for him, so... Wow! I didn't know that they could envelop something that big that quickly. Oh, yeah. It would take him a while, but... So you fed him, but you weren't able to get... Uh, yeah, we're 
I kind of feel like that fish right now. What's that? Enveloped by Dr. Bingham. Oh, did we, did it eat? Nope. It did eat. It didn't milk. It shot. I think it bounced off. Yeah, what happens if we haven't milked the snail for a, a period of time, the harpoon becomes blunted and trying to get in penetration of the uh, the condom material is pretty hard. So uh, next time he'll be able to be milked. Now the venom is clear or cloudy or does it depend on the species? It depends on the species. They're going to be clear for these particular species. That's one of the snail. The, I guess with the molluscal balls, usually it's clouded <laughs> because they have a high level of what we call hydrophobic peptides, which don't dissolve too well in the water. So it looks like someone dropping a, a drop of milk or cream into the That's what I thought I'd sell. Yeah. Wow. It's worth really buying chemistry now. Practice. Mm -hmm. It's really worth sitting cool. through the lectures. Well, tell this family. I'm not sure if I want it, but I feel like I should get it. It's not much. Well, that's uh, that is uh, that was an awesome procedure. <laughs> that's about it. I wish. See, you saw how you kind of you try and position the tail over top of the membrane mm -hmm. so that he shoots right through the tail yeah, and into the membrane. The, in, into the um, well, condom material, whatever right. that is. So sometimes, sometimes they just miss. So it, it wasn't successful, but that was an awesome, <laughs> awesome demonstration that we had there just now. Is there another one? This one is like.